All right, kings. I know, I know. This is like, damn, twice in a week. What? <laughs> but I have a day off, so I am taking the time to do this. And right here, you are seeing how he looks before the cut. I like taking footage of how everyone looks before the cut. First thing we're gonna want to do, guys, is you're gonna want to run your number two guard open. The reason why I usually like doing anything open is because if it's too much hair then you can always take that off if it's not then you can't put that shit back on you feel me next thing we are doing guys is we're gonna run our number trimmers actually right along the edge of the back so as you can see i'm just going in a straight diagonal line i'm just making my line right there and then once i feel like my line is good i just shave everything off it's that simple guys it's really that simple you can't get any simpler than that don't make things complicated that aren't supposed to be complicated right you guys are overthinking stop overthinking and just do it guys this is my motto just do it guys and then you're gonna see through trial and error what is good and what isn't right here over the ear we are connecting that line that we did right over the ear and i always say this use your trimmers as you were using a pencil try to stencil that out try to trace it out the way you would use a pencil to make a semicircle right here this is the other side of the tape up guys the shape up right here same process goes you just want to go in a straight diagonal line but make sure you don't push them too far in because if you do it's gonna look so weird right now we still having our trimmers we are doing the first guy line you see how i made that really kind of like burst kind of like a half circle and then you hit it with your foil shavers just ever so slightly try to not make a line by scooping out you're not gonna make a line next thing we are doing guys is you have a no guard open you want to make about an inch or so of a guideline just to give yourself enough room to blend in from that uh trimmer all the way to that no guard open and usually when i start blending in everything just because this is a tape up i really 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 love using my corners when it comes to this part right here you're gonna see i'm really gonna use my corners in a bit but right here i'm just making sure everything is plain as no guard open so right here is when i am starting to use my corners i move my guard my lever i actually move my lever about halfway closed or halfway open however you want to see it and as i slowly get to that bottom line i keep closing my lever as you keep going to that bottom line as you keep going lower into the fade you keep closing that lever guys this is what i mean by open a close open a close lever you feel me but at the same time you still want to use your corners it's so so important to use your corners because i'm telling you this is looking good right here and if i didn't use my corners most likely or not i would have probably made a line and i don't not want to push this fade up i don't want to push your skin tape up because this is supposed to be kind of a low skin tape guys and i hope you guys are keeping along with me and if there's anything that confused you a little bit just go back and rewind it and then watch it you know just go back don't be afraid to go back but right here i got my number one and a half guard closed i'm going out up about an inch or so and then i grab my number one guard and i do the same process i'm reverse down fading from open to close from an open lever to a closed lever when i mean open i mean that the blades are not touching each other or not close to each other when i mean a closed lever I, I mean that the blades are touching each other so as you keep going lower into that bottom line you keep slowly steadily keep closing that lever you feel me and that's the same principles i do with every fade i i feel like it works the best for me it keeps me from going too far into the fade and it creates a barrier for me so i know that i have fade from that point downwards i can't go further up than that that's what's worked for me so far and right here i got my lever closed but i'm also gonna bring out my one and a half guard actually not my one and a half guard my point five guard on my one sixteenth guard whatever you guys want to call that i'm actually doing the same thing i did with the bottom when i had my no guard i'm just using my lever and trying to take out as much of a line that i see just play with your lever if you see that it doesn't cut anything then close your lever down a little bit and keep using your corners because i promise you this is going to save you so much so much time guys please listen to hobby clips because i'm telling you i've messed up a pretty good handful of haircuts in the beginning just because i got lazy and i want to use my corners you know and i got frustrated this is all about all about persistency it's all about patience guys please be with me please do not give up you guys are legends you guys if no one's ever told you this you guys are great please understand that
right here I got my one and a half guard open and I'm just bringing that all the way to the top we don't need any of that unfortunately the two guard that we did uh, isn't gonna really matter here but for safekeeping I did that two guard open before but right here I just got my number one guard open and I just moved it to my halfway close all the way to close just trying to take that bottom line out and you're gonna actually see right here that I can't fully completely take that bottom line out but it's all good you know why because I'm gonna move my lever down I ain't afraid of cutting too much hair off because you know what after practice after experience you're gonna know what's gonna work and what's gonna take out a line so this is what I'm telling you guys, get more heads, get more cuts in the shop, get more cuts at the crib, in the basement, in the bathroom, whatever you guys are doing, keep grinding, y'all. Don't stop the grind, because if you stop the grind, the grind is never going to wait for you. You got to keep catching up, you know? And right here, you see, I am using my one and a half bar closed, all the way closed, and it really did soften that lineup, but I feel like it could have bit a little bit better so you're gonna see i actually grab my one guard a little bit and then i start kind of using my corners a little bit but right here you're seeing i like that line right there you see that line you're gonna see that i just can't take it out with that one and a half closed <laughs> and i'm still trying i should i should have stopped this like a minute before this <laughs> but it's all good y'all it's all good it's all practice and you see how i even use my corners a little bit because i feel like i could have definitely just taken that line out but it did soften it up and i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna definitely let you guys know that <laughs> and right here y'all you know this is what i mean by promotion when you try to promote yourself even in the chair y'all the client takes a quick 12 second video and then that's it the client posts it up on their youtube or on their instagram and they shout you out this is how you keep getting more people in just gotta give the client a good experience right here i got my number one guard and i am still just going slowly down slowly down you see i am doing a couple techniques of using my corners i do a little bit of lever play shout out to 360 jeezy for putting me on to that and i as soon as i see like the fade is starting to look good i just keep moving because detail work can always come in a little little bit later but i still keep going at it to the best of my ability just so i don't lose time i'm gonna go back to it a little bit later <laughs> that's looking nice anyway moving on to the side i'm only going to show this side because it's the exact same thing that you're going to be doing on the other side you're going to want to take off uh right above where the ear starts but do not please do not guys take that piece of hairline off the front part where i'm leaving that little bit of hair the reason why you want to leave this on is because when you start shaping him up the shape up is going to look really crisp and defined without using any type of enhancements right here i got my no guard open and then i'm just using lever play and corner using my corners guys to take that line out right here it's that simple guys and don't get me wrong when i first started doing this it would take me a minute to try to even get it right because i'm just not used to blending in such a short amount of space but after a while you just get the hang of it right here i got my number one and a half guard closed and then i hit it with my number one guard open to close it's exact same steps i did in the back tape up guys it's literally that easy guys it's so simple if dogs were a little bit smarter they would have been fading y'all up so crispy guys <laughs> i promise y'all and i'm still using my corners and you're gonna see actually right here that i can't take that line out completely with my number one guard but that's why you have your point five guard that's when you have your little detail part when you start using your corners and start trying to pick out little things little lines here and there, little dark patches right here i got my number 0.5 guard and i'm just using the corners guys playing with my lever as well it's that simple guys same steps you did in the back it's the same steps you can apply right here it's just a little bit less of a space <laughs> you saw i just dropped that right there first thing you guys want to do especially during this quarantine is do not pick up any of the guards you dropped on the floor while cutting your person you know because that just doesn't look wrong that that doesn't look right is what i want to say but that's why i have another pair of guards i have two sets of guards for each number you know in case something like that happens you just grab the one that's laying there the, one, the clean ones and you use that so no reason to go on the floor and pick it up you feel me just makes the experience a little bit better y'all a little bit better sometimes guys you're gonna get this where you really just want to do the beard you just want to shape it up to your liking you just want to be oh you like you feel me 
But my boy Yuri, he doesn't want me to line anything up with the beard except for the top part and the back. He doesn't want me to touch the bottom or the mustache. And I'm good with that. I'm cool with that. You feel me? Whatever he wants is what I'm going to give him right here. I'm just going straight down in a diag in a straight vertical line you feel me it's nothing crazy i'm just lining up the back side of his beard just so it doesn't look as scruffy and his beard could look a little bit neater you know sometimes it's good to clean it up here and there and right here for the you actually do the same thing you did on the other side it's the other side of the beard as well right here i'm just prepping his hair bringing up bringing down all those little baby hairs in order to create his hairline and if his baby hairs were a little bit long, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I just grab my number one and a half bar clothes and I just go down with the grain. Just just barely hitting it, you know? So once I do that, I just set everything in motion. You just brush it down again and you start from the middle outwards. The middle outwards. We really didn't touch his middle part as much because we're keeping that section natural. We're just really touching up the edges. But I do attack the middle part as if I was really lining it up and the same thing for right here you can see i'm using my corners guys i'm really using my corners i'm being really really gentle and i'm just trying to make sure the line comes out as crispy as it can y'all that's all it is and i'm you can see right here i'm using both my hands i'm even using my hand to rest on his forehead a little bit just because my hands are super shaky i keep saying this i don't know why i'm a partner you feel me but I like it, I love it actually, and this is what I want my career to be. I want to have my own brand, I want to have my own shop, my own products, all that good stuff. But it's a journey, y'all. Right here, same thing we we'll do over the year. You just trace it out, you just use it as a stencil, y'all. Use your fingers to pivot on his cheek, you feel me? That's all it is, guys. That's all it is. Don't make it too complicated, you feel me? Right here, the same technique goes. The same techniques you did for the hooks, you do for the ears. You just stencil it out, you just trace it out with the quarters, y'all. Don't be afraid to move their ear either, guys. Don't be afraid to maneuver their ear so you get in that little crevice. I've had a problem with me doing that. I didn't do that as much in the beginning because I was afraid. I was a little too shy. But you know what? We barbers, we gotta know what we're doing too without hurting the client. Next thing we're doing, guys, is just lining him up with a razor. Usually when I'm in the barber shop, I really like laying them down because it's more comforting. And it's actually more comfortable for them and for me as well. Because when they are sitting straight up, I don't like lining them up just because it's so uncomfortable for me. And it, I get my best work when I'm actually lining them up like this. And they just get to rest a little bit, sleep a little bit. You know, sometimes they be sleeping while I'm just lining them up. But it's all good. I know my king's been had a long ass day. It's all good. And you see it right here when I am cutting, when I am doing all that. I am pulling away from where I'm cutting because I do not want to leave him scarred up. A crispy haircut is no good if you're all scarred up. Same thing with the back. Before you do any razor work, I would usually like to apply some shaving gel. I'm using 245 shaving gel. It has aloe vera in it. It smells really good. I really like it a lot. It's my go-to. It has a little nozzle on the top so I don't have to be dipping my fingers in or anything like that. Just squeeze it out. It's perfect for me. Feel me? Same thing for the back. You just want to be super careful. Pull away from where you're cutting. Be really gentle, guys. And you see how his neck is a little stretched out. How I pushed it to the side a little bit just so his neck isn't as elastic -y, you know? Just so I could get a smooth, clean cut. Same thing for this side, guys. Just push his neck a little bit to the side if he doesn't want to, then just ask him, you know? Sometimes. You know, you try to move the head and they keep their head still. <laughs> but, you know, there's nothing wrong with asking them to do something for you because they understand that they want to look good too. So in order for them to look good, they got to move a little bit. They got to compromise a little bit. You feel me? Especially for the mustache area. I know you guys have a lot of problems with that because I used to have that problem a lot and I still struggle with that sometimes today. It's all about growth, guys. It's all about growth. You see right here how I'm changing my angles, how I'm doing all this, that third, in order to get that crispy line up right there. Hey, Higgs, I'm so excited right now. Are, are y'all excited with me? I dead ass can't hear you. Are you guys as excited as I am? Make believe this is Dora the Explorer, y'all. Make believe I'm the Eagle, my G. <laughs> are y'all ready? Because, boy. Boy, 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 this was really the cut. Y'all seeing this right now, I'm just doing my finishing work. But right now, guys, I'm 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 super dope to I'm 
I'm ecstatic right now. You feel me? This was before. This was before the cut. This is what he was looking. You know, my boy was looking high. My boy was looking dope. He got his little, he got little locks on his beard. You know, some some little calm, some crisp. You know, some calm. But <laughs> damn, young Rico Suave. <laughs> Y'all go sooner? <laughs> my boy's looking crispy right now, y'all. And this is probably one of my favorite cuts to do. Low skin tape. You see the hooks. You see the back. This is fire. I want to say this is fire. I don't think I've ever seen him like this. But he's looking dope, y'all. Remember, guys, if you like the video, subscribe, comment. Have a great day, y'all. Best ISO. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound Fucking my post, this ain't now, I've been humble too long, yeah Tell them all to stay calm, yeah